Hey there, welcome back. This is an addendum to the tutorial on creating a Max external that we did as a part of the FFT series. In that video, we used Xcode on a Mac. The whole process is really pretty much the same on Windows, but I wanted to take some time for people that are using Windows so that they could see it in their native environment. So we'll just real quick go through the setup steps and for the rest of it, um, you can just reference the original video. Here I've gone to the GitHub site to grab the Max SDK and I'll tell it to download and download the zip. And as soon as it shows up down here, I'll just go ahead and save it and open up this folder. I don't need the web browser anymore. It can go away. I'll unzip our package and then we can drag the Max SDK package into our packages folder. Just like that. That's in your documents, Max 7 packages. And as soon as it's over there, we'll take a quick look. Okay, there it is. So it looks exactly the same as it did on the Mac. And when we want to build one of these projects to see that they're working, we can go ahead and open up the source folder. And the project we built in that video was Simple MSP. So let's start there. Let's see, I have the VCX proj. I'll open this up. Okay, so I'm running Visual Studio 2015, but the SDK was created originally um, with an earlier version of the Visual Studio. So we're going to need to upgrade the project to the latest version, and that's what this dialog is about. Okay, here it is. If we open this up, we'll see everything's in here, including the C file, and I can click Build build solution and then we'll wait for it to run. It says it succeeded so I should find over in the um, externals folder. It's created an externals folder and our MXE is in there. So the MXE is the 32-bit version. On the Mac we build a universal binary so 32 and 64-bit are all built together. But on Windows we do it separately, so we can come up here to this little menu, flip it over to 64-bit if we want to build the 64-bit version. And again, I can just say build solution. And when we hop over there, it will show us the MXE64. When we decide that we want to build our own object, the process will be exactly the same as described in the video. Uh, so we'll go over here to the object that we wish to duplicate, which we duplicated simple MSP. So I can just right click that and then do a copy. And then we can do a paste. And then we'll change the name of this folder to FFT normalize or whatever object we wish to make. And then we can come in here and change the names of all of these also. So FFT normalizes the name of it, then that'll be what we type into all of these. Or we can copy and paste the names. Okay, and then I'll double click to open it up in Visual Studio. And then if we go over to the Solution Explorer, we'll be able to see everything's here. One nice thing is the Visual Studio projects are set up where they use the name of the project for the C file. And so we don't even need to update the C file like we did on the Mac. So this is a place where it actually functions more easily over here. So now I would go through and start modifying my external. But if I just build it right now as it is, We'll go ahead and generate that. Then we come over here and look in the Explorer and Externals. We now have the FFT Normalize object. 
and that'll load right up in Max. So I hope this is helpful, and if you have any questions about creating projects or working with the Max SDK, be sure to check out the dev forum on the cycling74.com website. Thanks.